Hey guys and welcome to JTech WP. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add awesome looking tilt shift transitions using DaVinci Resolve. Tilt shifts look great if you're promoting things like software or doing tutorials and they can also be used to add depth of field to your videos. I'm using the tilt shift transitions pack from DaVinci Resolve titles.com. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video as I'm going to give you a free title pack. The interface is really friendly. You can adjust things like the zoom level, the position of the clip on screen, you can adjust where the mask is, you can set the blur level, you can adjust the chromatic aberration, and also you can apply a vignette. I'm going to show you the render settings that I recommend using by going to playback, render cache, and I set mine to smart, and this lets DaVinci Resolve handle it automatically for you. And also I'll set fusion memory cache to auto. To use the transitions, make sure you're in the edit window and that you have effects turned on. And then we want to go down to video transitions, JTWP tilt shift and this is where we've got all the different transitions. The great thing about these is if you've got a still or a JPEG like this one it'll work on that as well and all we need to do is drag it and bring it onto the right hand side of the clip. If you want it to go across the entire clip drag the slider like this. Over on the right make sure the inspector panel's open and here's where we can adjust all the different settings so you can adjust the zoom level Okay, you can move it left or right with the X or the Y. And we can see there, that's where it's all in focus. If I press show mask, it shows you the area that's in focus. And again, you can move this. If you want it to go more centralized, I can move it left and right with the X on here and up and down with the Y on here. And we can adjust things like the width. So I can make it narrower or wider. Wider might work better for this. We can adjust the height of it. You can adjust things like the corner radius, so you can make it more square by moving it to left and round the corners off by moving it to the right, and then we can adjust the angle. Also in this panel, we've got the blur controls. I'll turn off the mask so you can see it, but the blur strength will affect how blurry the background image is compared to the mask. And it's got handy little pointers here, so you know that that's a good setting to start with. And now we can adjust things like the aberration, so that's like kind of like a glow effect on it. And you can adjust things like the aberration strength, so you can make it really strong or really weak. Again, it's got a little marker there, which shows you the ideal setting. And we can adjust things like the vignette. So if you want to make it quite dark, you can do that as well. And once it's rendered, this will go blue in the bar. Then all we need to do is just press spacebar, and that's going to show it in the preview window. We've also got lots of other effects in there. So all I want to do is add a screen down onto this one. So again, I put it on the right hand corner, drag it across. And I think that looks pretty good right out of the box. Each preset uses the same sort of system, so you've got your zoom, your position, your blur mask, and your blur controls, so they're really consistent. What you can do as well, you can add a transition across two clips. So if I bring it over the middle of these two, we see it's gone red, give it a moment to render. Once it goes blue, it's good to go. And now we can transition between two clips using our tilt shift. Each preset has an opposite, so if I add a tilt screen left to this one, there's also a tilt screen right, which I could apply to the next clip. So I'm putting it on the right hand side. So you'll have the same for sort of ups and downs. So there's a good match of each. All right, so here's our left and our right. One other thing I would recommend, if the render is taking quite a long time to do, is go into the bottom right hand corner, go to project settings, and make sure you're on master settings. And what you can do, which will speed up the render quite considerably, is just lower the resolution. So I'm working on a 4K project, but I've just told it to preview as a 1080p timeline, which makes the render quite a bit quicker. And just make sure you press save. And that should speed up your workflow a little bit when you're working with transitions. But also remember, once your edit's done, is to go back to project settings and then set it to the timeline resolution you were using before you export. That way it's going to export the proper 4K, not 1080p upscaled to 4K, which won't look as good. If you found this tutorial helpful, please check out our DaVinci Resolve Facebook group. There's a link in the description below, where I regularly post tutorials for DaVinci Resolve and I'll answer all your questions. To get your free title pack, there's a link in the description below, or you can go over to davinciresolvetitles.com and download it from there. Well, that's it for me, guys. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe. If you didn't like the video, smash that dislike twice, and I'll see you on the next one.